moment of it. How important is it that you're here right now and you're closer to your family? Um, it's real important. Uh, like I told uh, someone before, uh, I felt I made a great choice, and uh, this is a perfect fit for me. Talked the other day after the Towson game just about what that Maryland game last year did to this team and, and the idea of revenge. I know you weren't suiting up, but you had to watch it uh, and, and know that there was nothing that you could do to, to have sat through that entire game and now have this chance to actually make an impact on it. How are you approaching this one in terms of you know making sure that the outcome is very different? Um, we talked about getting payback and revenge. Uh, they shut us out last year, 37-0. Uh, it's hung up in the weight room, so we've been looking at it all couple past couple of days, and we'll be looking at it all week. So uh, I feel like we got to come out strong, first drive, make a statement, and uh, show them that they're not going to shut us out this year. Give me an idea about how this team is utilizing your talents this year. I, I know talking to Coach Sider, he said that before you came to West Virginia, he would watch film of you and not see them, not see offenses taking advantage of your ball skills and your ability to make people miss in space. How much have you really changed just how, who you are as a player on the field in terms of what you're actually able to do? Um, changed a lot at just catching the ball, mm, uh, yeah. splitting out wide, uh, being able to run past the corner or stop and run a double route or something. And uh, I feel like I need to display that uh, to show people I can catch the ball, and not just run the ball, and that's the only thing I could do. And uh, same thing with uh, blocking. I feel like uh, they put me in a position where I can display all that. I think you had nine catches your whole season at Pitt. You already have six. I mean, that's what you were just talking about. Is that going to be showcased more and more as the season progresses? Uh, yeah, definitely. I um, feel. I can catch the ball uh, just like anyone else. Um, it's just something um, I practice on and I take pride in. Uh, so I guess, yeah. Why, do you, why did it not happen before? Was that part of what attracted you to WB was the fact that they didn't want to make you a versatile player? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like my goal is to get to the next level, and you got to be able to display that you can do those things. So uh, I felt that uh, Coach Hogerson and Coach Sider put me in a position where I could display that. Uh, while when I was at my other school, um, it was just a pro style, and I was just running the ball and block. You know, last year we saw a very versatile back in Charles Sims come through this program, but he only had a couple of months to be with Mountaineers. To know that you have so much time left uh, to be here and, and to continue to develop your skills, um, what, what does that say just about the opportunity that you have? That it, it's not like you're a one and done guy or anything like that. You have plenty of times, uh, assuming you don't leave early, that, that you get to continue to develop? Uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, you got a great strength staff down there. Uh, to be honest, they're, they're the ones that got me back to being even somewhat good. Uh, and knowing that I still got two more years after this year, uh, it, it scares myself sometimes because <laughs> uh, I know I didn't meet, uh, reach my total top potential yet. So um, every day I'm just trying to get closer and closer to. You scare yourself get... in a positive way. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. When you say you got getting you back to somewhat good, was what happened in the off season? Was it uh, rough? Yeah, 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 it was a rough off season. Um, when I first got here, I couldn't run like two half casters, and uh, I was out of shape. And I'm like 245, 240. Now I'm like 213, 214, and I can run. Well, no. So. <laughs> <laughs> Physically and mentally, probably did a lot for you to yeah, yeah, get definitely. back to the where you needed to. Yeah. Russell, most most backs are you know, dreaming of breaking that big one. You know, breaking a couple tackles and going all the way to the end zone on a nice long run. That really hasn't happened for any of the the WV running backs to this point. Uh, do you guys talk about that kind of stuff and as a group, or is it just something you think will happen and it will come with time? Um, that was a big problem uh, last week. Uh, we were all trying to just make that big, big play. And uh, I feel like at this level, you can't do that. Uh, you just got to play every play. And eventually, the home run is going to come. So you just got to be patient and follow your reads. Coach Sider said that you were pressing in the first half last week, and he had to kind of tell you, settle down. I know you want to make a big play for these fans, but is, is that something that you know you do have to kind of tell yourself, look, take what you can get. You don't always have to have the home run ball. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, if you try to just keep getting the home run ball, then it takes you out of your game. It takes 
you got your reads and all you're looking for is just that daylight. So uh, that's what I was doing pretty much the first half. Uh, but I had to settle down a little bit and just uh, get what I was doing. Okay. Which is now.